Hey guys, right, Sunday morning, and I'm off out. I'm having the morning off, or most of the day off. I don't know what I'm having off, I don't know how long it's going to take. Anyway, something totally and utterly different today to what I normally do, or haven't done for at least 30 years. I'm going to a car show. Bear with me. <laughs> Bear with me. So, it's at Mallory, which is not far from here, and I am going round the track as a passenger which I'm really looking forward to. Um, Ryan Paul, who I went round Europe with, Ray's coming to pick me up in his Zephyr. I'm sure I've got that right. Sorry, Ray, if I haven't. I'm actually going to go round these cars through the day, and we'll have a look at them. So, obviously, they're not quite normal cars. They're a little bit different. And round the track, I'm going in Paul's Morris Minor. Again, don't laugh at that because this Morris Minor is very different. Anyway, like I say, just waiting for Ray, and then we're out of here. Right, Raymondo's here. So we have a 1953 Mark 1 Zephyr. Ray's little toy. And if anyone's got any chrome stripes, oh, yeah. let us know. He's been <laughs> after for 30 years. Yeah, he's been hunting for them for 30 years and can't find any. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, this is a little toy. It's proper usable. And we're going to go and enjoy the day. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's not one of them cars where it's all wrapped up in cotton wool and put in a heated garage. This thing gets used. Rain or shine. <laughs> and does big miles. Because it's a Mazda. Yeah, because it uh, un under that bit, under there, that's that's Mazda. <laughs> right, I've got to try and get past this roll cage. We're in. Nice. <laughs> I had to bring my helmet as well. I've got apparently I've got to wear an helmet in a car. At least I won't get flies on the visor. <laughs> Yeah, I like this. Is that your heater? Uh, that's uh, that's Morris Minor. Morris Minor heater. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. It's a two door as well, 1.3. Woohoo! That's got to be a rare car. Oh no. Most of them rotted away by now and been swept up. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got another Cortina at the front That's there. A is that a Corsair, I think? Is it a Corsair? Didn't they make a Cortina that looked like yeah, that as did, well? Yeah. And we got some big American Dodge thing. Charger. It looks like a Dodge Charger, doesn't it? It makes that Mini look small in front, doesn't it? Yeah, and then I can see a Mini, a Mercedes, and a Mark II Escort. Two Mark II Escorts, one with his rally arches on. Oh, there's quite a few coming here. That's all right. This Cortina looks very tidy, though. Straight, isn't it? Yeah. Don't they look odd now, when you haven't seen it? <laughs> <laughs> These are the cars of our youth. It looks really odd, but smart, I thought, I like that. There's lots of, like, statues of people. Cheers, I don't Thank know who they are. Much. Cheers, Tat. We're in. It's busy, look at that light. Like. It looks quite um, packed, which is good. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have plenty of things to look at. We don't know if Paul's here yet. I reckon he's coming a bit a tiny no, bit he later. Should be here. He should oh, be. he should be here apparently. Yeah, yeah, because if you're on track, you've got to get in earlier. So. Ah, okay. Got 
people selling things look I guess that's all car related so that thing I hear worrying is that a fuel pump yeah, in here yeah. yeah yeah to be fair I could do with rubber, rubber mounting it a bit more which is a bit noisy yeah of course it, it don't matter. it's all part of the car though isn't it yeah, yeah. So, see I like this car because you get in it you don't have to worry like you're gonna mark something or put a fingerprint on something. This is proper usable. You get in and have some fun. It's not a trailer queen, it's not a show queen, it's, no. it's proper usable car, I like it. You do some miles in this as well, oh, don't yeah, you? It's all right, yeah. Proper. Yeah. Proper do some miles in it. 1.8 Mazda, so it's good on the jungle juice. Yeah. What engine did it have in it? Uh, six litre Mustang. <laughs> We're nitrous. <laughs> I didn't get so far in it with that no. one. No. No. That's one of the reasons that come out. What was that about? Two to the gallon? Yeah, not many. <laughs> not many. Brilliant.
Going down to trackside to see what's going round. We've got some cars coming round now. We can't find Paul at the minute. We don't know where he's gone. <laughs> I haven't been here for years. One of the last times I came here was a Boxing Day Enduro. Uh, I was on a Savannah 250, and it was pure hell. <laughs> they were freezing. That was probably one of the last times I was here. 20 plus. Close to 30, I don't know, it was a long time ago. Scared. <laughs> I'm gonna be going around there in a bit. I'll say I'm not a good passenger. I hope it'll be a good bit of fun. Going over a bridge into the into the pit bit. I hopefully find Paul. Oh, you can't film out of here. Look. We're all closed in. Well, we found him. We found him. We'll have a look around this car. So this Morris Martin is the one I'm going around the track in. <laughs> what have I let myself in for? <laughs> This is the car I'm going in. I'm getting, I'm getting worried. <laughs> so, obviously not a Morris Minor engine. There we go. Right, a, a quick sit in the car I'm about to die in. <laughs> <laughs> so here we've got a Morris Miner, as you can see. Uh, it's sat, it's underpinnings are a three litre Capri, because it used to have the Capri engine in the V6. Three litre V6, and I do, it had a supercharger on this, didn't it? Yeah, back nitrous, in the day. Back and nitrous, so yeah, this was a bit of a fruity machine. But now, under the bonnet, we've got a Ford Z Tech. Yeah, you have yeah. to bear with me. I don't know much about cars. I'm getting all this information relayed to me. So yeah, we got a Ford Z Tech, and apparently it goes all right. So uh, yeah, it's all uh, proper up for the job. Again, like race car, it's proper usable. You get in it and have fun. I don't have to constantly worry that you're going to put a ding in it or a little scratch. These cars get used and they do big miles in them. And I'm looking forward to it and I'm not looking forward to it <laughs> going around this track but I'm sure we'll be okay. I did see a bit of video a while ago though, Paul spinning this round. Which... <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> right, here we go. <laughs> it ain't I'm the scared. GoPro shake and it's Chuck. <laughs> Right. Squeeze that thing in there. Room 
for a little one. Oh God! How do I get in this well?
into cars <clears throat> so the, the after 70 years it's yeah to lock itself. yeah the 70 year old cars decided that the the lock's no longer gonna work so we've got to break in so we're looking for tools now <laughs> and we've got to get try and get through the little quarter window screwdrivers and all sorts going on I don't like it I'm heavy handed I don't want nothing to do with this <laughs> <laughs> I will break the window Stupid plastic enough. sleeve on that screwdriver yeah. out of the way. Mm. <clears throat> the joys of old cars, eh? Just like old bikes. Now and again, they'll well, play you up. I've been chasing the sun since I was ten years old. Felt the heat rise on my skin. And I've been on the run from a dark and cold since I've been letting people in
Sit down. <laughs> right, we're done. Awesome, absolutely awesome day. Really enjoyed that. We obviously we've got back into the car. <laughs> we got this this thing up here. I managed to get in. Anyway, lots of weird and wonderful and terrible things, <laughs> all in one spot. That'll do. Cheers for watching. <laughs>